everyone, how are you? Um, I haven't made a video in a while, I thought I should. Um, because, I don't know, I just did. I've been obsessed with a lot of people. First I gotta say, and I gotta thank foremost for the new subscribers I got. I've got some, a lot of subscribers. Oh, and I got my first hate mail. It was so funny. On one of my other videos, they like said, you're such a fag. And I was like, and? Like, I know. What? Me? Gay? A fag? No. <laughs> it's just natural for men to have an obsession with Chris Maloney and still be a perfectly 100% heterosexual man. NASCAR! Titties! Football! Yeah! There are gay men who probably like NASCAR and football. Maybe not the other. The titties, but... Whatever. So I was like, yay, thank you for being my first hater mail. My first hater, because I think it's momentous almost. I don't let those things get to me. Um, he's just a person on the internet, sitting at home, doing nothing. Probably playing World of Warcraft all day and losing his, like, his crumbling marriage around him, or having a girlfriend who's like, hey, do you want to go out? And he's like, no, I have to hoard. I don't even know what that means, but, you know, that's the word I hear around. I don't care. Whatever. So I was really excited by that. But I got all the, like, new subscribers out of nowhere, so thank you. Um, I don't know how you found me, but hopefully I find, you find me interesting. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story that happened to me a week ago. I was out with my mom, and she was buying chocolate for her dentist. I know. Ironic. But he really likes dark chocolate, so we were out buying chocolate. And we ended up to the store. It was, like, a clothing store that had, like, a dive of chocolate, like, area in it. So... She wanted to go inside. So we go inside, and this woman comes up, and she's like, how can I help you? I'm not going to do her accent anymore, so just pretend every time I talk in her quotes that she's the one saying it, because it's just so much easier that way. Anyway, so she's like, how can I help you? And we're like, oh, we like to buy chocolate. So she tells us, like, you know, my mom tells her he only likes chocolate. He doesn't like cherries or anything in the center. He does chocolate chocolate. So she points us to them, and she's like, well, they're $2 a piece. My mom can't do simple math. I don't know why, but she can't. It's just math is not her forte. I can't do math that involves letters and or percentages. Percentages, and I just go. Like Christian asked me yesterday to do some 10% of something, and I just, like, stared at him and went, Moves the decimal point over, and I went, oh. Yeah, I don't know that. So anyway, so my mom's like, well, I, you know, she's like, what do you want, one or two? And I'm like, two is ridiculous. It's $4 or whatever. And so she's like, well, the next size up is eight. So my mom's like, okay, how much is that? I'm like, $16. She's like, if, and the woman, the snobby woman, I wish I had a wig or something to demonstrate that. Um, I would about to put a bag over my head, but I'd, uh, like, I'd, um, suffocate myself. I'll put this over my head for some reason when the woman's... Now, that looks like my hair. So you're just going to have to imagine. I'll carry the bottle of water, because, you know, snobby people carry water everywhere. Look like I don't. Anyway. So she's like, if you get more than eight, you might as well just get 16, because it would look odd. And I'm like, what? So my mom's like, well, how much is 16? And I'm like, that's 32, mom. She's like, oh. I'm like, we'll take eight. And she's like, so I'm getting 16, and I'm like, no, we're going to take 8. So the woman's like, because if you get more than 8, you have to get 16, or it'll look weird, because the tray, like, carries the exact number of 8, and then one there, it will just roll around or some crap like that. I don't know. I just looked at the woman, and I'm like, we'll take 8, you stupid woman who's trying to make my mother buy $30 worth of your stupid-ass chocolate. So we go up to the register, and my mom hands her a 50. And the best thing about this is, as I'm, like, in a T-shirt and, like, khaki shorts with like some really ugly ass fucking flip flops and my mom's like all missing her bottom teeth it's a thing um that's why she's going to the dentist missing like the bottom front teeth and in a wheelchair mind you because my mom's sick so she's in a wheelchair and i'm pushing her around and the woman's like so my mom hands my, the woman the money and the mo woman's like taking forever to give us 33 dollars i'm like it's a 20 a 10 and three in like three dollars and like a quarter and like a nickel and three pennies. What, what, what's the holdup? So I'm just staring at this woman. And she's like, I'm trying to find you clean money. And my mom goes, Well, you know, money's money, you know, whatever way. She's like, I have standards. And I'm like, You have standards for money? I'm just staring at her and I'm like giving her the, the this disgusted look. And she's like, I get a lot of trashy money. And I wanted to say, Honey, shut the fuck up. You're in the middle of friggin' nowhere, you're in the friggin' Poughkeepsie, New York. And you're trying to tell me you're a stuck-up snob working in a clothing store in the middle of a dead-ass mall? 
You're right across the street from like, a, like right down the hall from a friggin' embroidery shop of a shirt in a comic book store. Don't tell me you have standards. You friggin' snobby thing. I just wanted to throw something at her and I'm like, okay, we need to go. Because I really wanted to like say something and be like, are you kidding me? Whatever. She like, works across the street from a UPS store. How, how upper class can you get? I walk by the up UPS store. She's like, I walk by the UPS store. Oops. They are involved with embargo. I'm like, em whatever. I wanted to pour something on her head. Anyway, so I really hated her. And that's the story I wanted to tell. The other thing I want to tell is because my hubby did a live journal. He's on live journal. He doesn't do videos because even though he's really good looking, better looking than I am, and I think I trapped him to marriage by pretending I was pregnant. Because men can get pregnant, you know, and I'm not the bottom. Anyway. Um, which is surprising. Anyway. He did an environmental thing, and I think I should too. Um, everybody, you should be more environmentally conscious. If you're not, then the planeteer is going to come after you, and, like, the guy who won't girl who can, like, spit wind will throw you in the air while the guy with the red hair will, like, burst you into flames, and you'll fall on the ground screaming while, like, the little monkey guy laughs, and the spirit woman's like, ha, 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 good job, planeteers. That's what's going to happen. It's based on truth, not fiction. Anyway, so... We went to our local stop and shop and we bought three of these little like canvas bag things. And so we don't have to use bags anymore because we collect plastic bag upon plastic bag. They're all in the container in the closet. It's horrible. And that's that. Um, not much else going on in our life. Uh, we're moving really soon, one month and counting. We convinced someone to move with us, which is gonna be really great because I don't hate him. I like him a lot. I actually like speaking to him quite a bit. Um, we can spend hours. Oh, we just went out together until like, oh God, I have only three minutes. God, I always do this. I talk for so long. I know you're all like, does this actually have a point? Because I actually have a life. I'll see you for your time back if you don't stop talking. We went out talking. We went out to Panera Bread, my future roommate and I, Chris. I'm going to call him my future roommate because he doesn't have a choice anymore. Chris and my really good friend, Chris. We went to Panera Bread and we ended up talking. And I'm sitting in front of this family. Like there's this family sitting in front of us. Well, back of him in front of me and they took up three tables worth of food three tables for like six one two three four five five of them and i'm like oh my god you need that many much food whatever and so the entire time this family is like staring at me they all like whisper and whisper and like stare back at me like every one of them i was so scared i was like we need to go he and he has no idea what's going on he's just you know talking and i'm like we need to go now it's like 5 30 anyway I was really scared this family was going to rape me or something because, like, they would all, like, go in and start talking and then stare at me. I'm like, am I about to be gay best or something? Are they about to tell me, like, give me some spiel about God and I'm going to have to go off on them? Not that I'm against God because I'm for God and whatever, but not when people try to force their religion on me. They're probably like, oh, he's homosexual. We're going to eat him alive. And I was like, am I wearing an offensive shirt or something? And I wasn't. I was wearing anything offensive, so I didn't understand it. But whatever. That's my life up to this moment. I've been playing Graw 2 for 360. I really enjoy it, though I really suck at it. And I'm understanding now that Tom Clancy really has something against the Mexican people. Because, like, every time I play one of his games, it's always like, Mexicans are doing something wrong. They're trying to take over Las Vegas for some reason. And then they're, like, living in, like, feces. In, like, their, like, hideout jungle bungalows or whatever. It's really disturbing. I really think Tom Clancy's a racist against the Mexicans, and I think it's a problem. But yet, I like shooting people in his game, so it's really conflicting. And I played the demo to Bioshock, which is fantastic. It's like the best demo I played in quite a while, but it's like RPG first-person shooter, but it's really, really neat. And I, I had to really debate buying it when it comes out. I think I might just wait till it's like lowered in price, which will take a year from now or something. And then I played Beautiful Katamari, demo and I don't get it. You roll around and you pick up things. Hi. I'm rolling over you. And I'm picking you up and you're like, ah! I don't get it. So I really didn't like that. So that's my life. Thank you to my subscribers again. And uh, thank you for listening to my inane babbling. I will bring you more.